Hello, my dear viewers. Today we go hunting for seafood again. The beach is beautiful and calm today. No waves because there is no strong wind. This trip I harvested quite a lot and many strange types, like purple razor clams, grease snails, clams, lots of mantis shrimp, one half beak fish, and lots of crabs. Very wonderful. This trip is guaranteed to be very interesting and see many new sea creatures. Please watch the video and enjoy. Let's start catching mantis shrimp. This beach has a lot of mantis shrimp. This is a small type of mantis shrimp. I call it milk mantis shrimp. Yeah, it's easy for me to catch mantis shrimp thanks to this plastic tube. <laughs> the mantis shrimp's burrow looks like a black dot on the sand. Do you see? The burrow size is about the size of a finger. The average size of a mantis shrimp is about the size of a finger and can be harvested. This one is too small, only the size of a little finger. So I don't catch it but release it. Catching mantis shrimp is easy and fun, right? Yeah, I caught another one. You have to be quick and observe carefully. This one came out of the cave. It almost swam away. Luckily, I caught it. Ha ha. I saw a strange long streak on the sand. Very easy to identify. It is made of an oliva snail. Its meat is quite delicious, but very little, so I don't catch it. Do you know why mantis shrimp can dig a deep hole without being filled by sand or seawater? Thanks to the mantis shrimp saliva, there is a special slime that helps block sand. When building a cave, it will continuously secrete to create a solid cave wall. Another mantis shrimp is too small. I will release it. Oh my god, this mantis shrimp is at the mouth of the cave. I thought I couldn't catch it, but when I looked back, I saw it lying there. Haha. -ha. This one is quite big and good quality. I saw a starfish trying to rise from the sand. Isn't it cute? This beach has a lot of starfish. This is a five-pointed starfish. There are also six-pointed and nine-pointed starfish. I teased it by putting a handful of sand in its way, and it immediately moved to another direction. Now I turn it over to show you. It moves thanks to its many little wriggling legs. I'll turn it over. A mantis shrimp can dig for itself up to two burrows close together. When digging one burrow and not seeing it, you can dig the burrow next to it and catch it right away. That's a secret. When sucking up sand, do you notice dark clumps of sand around it? That is the cave wall mixed with mantis shrimp saliva. The sea today has only gentle waves, very calm. Thanks to that, it is easier for me to catch seafood. What? Another mantis shrimp mm. was right at the mouth of the cave that I almost missed. Maybe because the seawater wasn't pounding so hard that the mantis shrimp didn't swim away? Haha, -ha, that's weird. I caught a moon crab lying on the sand. This size is catchable. This type of crab, when caught, rarely attacks, but will shrink motionless like this. Currently, the sun is gradually going down. I'm trying to catch mantis shrimp, and then later, I'll explore the fish weir to catch seafood. If you find it interesting, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel, so I have more motivation to make more videos about the sea. I have to wait for the tourists to come and book the fish weir package. They can catch all the seafood in it. After they finish catching, 
I can go in and catch the remaining seafood. Haha. -ha. The price can fluctuate depending on the size, and the further from shore, the higher the price, the better the seafood quality. Mantis shrimp meat is quite delicious. The best for me is when fried whole or coated in flour. I often fry it for friends, family, everyone loves it. Or you can cook broth to create a natural sweetness. Oh my God, I found a battery. I have to bring it back and dispose of it properly. Otherwise, it will cause serious pollution and the ecosystem will not be able to recover. Another mantis shrimp is right at the mouth of the cave. I've had this happen three times today. There was a jellyfish that drifted ashore. I saw many fishermen picking up white jellyfish like this, processing it, and it can be eaten. There was a puffer fish stranded and bloated. It looks pretty funny, right? Ha ha, I really don't know if it's alive or not, but I will rescue it and return it to the sea. It has two front teeth that look very hard sticking out. Do you see? Now I will take it and go to the sea. The tide is quite far today. Now I'm going to explore the fish weir. Hopefully there's a lot of seafood left. Also depends on luck. There are fish caught in the net like this. When the tide comes in, fish and seafood will go inside and can't find a way out. When the tide goes out, they will be stranded. I caught a small crab, ha ha. Not angry. I found a fish left half beak from the Greek word hemi equals half, ramphos beak, bill beak, due to the shape of the lower jaw being clearly longer than the upper jaw. That's so great. It has a pretty green color, doesn't it? Its meat is quite tough and delicious. There is an octopus left in the fish weir. crawled away so fast. Ha ha. Wow, there's a new sea creature. The carapaceous fishes, sometimes called suckers. Their notable feature is their front dorsal fin modified into a suction cup that can open or close, allowing the fish to create suction to grab onto marine life and even small boats for a hitchhiking ride. Is it true that this fish often clings to the backs of sharks to hitch a ride? This one has a very beautiful and special green color. Now I will release it. There are some small fish stuck in the fish weir. I will catch it and then help release it back to the sea. There is a beautiful swimming moonfish to stop with long fins. I picked up a very strange creature or plant. I'm not sure what it is. If you know what it is, please comment and let me know. I think it could be a sea pen. It's strange. got some fresh fish left that could be harvested. This is mackerel. It has quite sharp teeth, so I have to be careful when catching it. I caught another small sentinel crab. It was very aggressive, so I quickly put it in the bucket. 
my last time I went to catch a lot of sentinel crabs and shared very detailed information. You can watch it again in the previous video. Add another mackerel. Do you see its sharp teeth? Its meat is quite delicious. This amount of fish is enough for my meal. Wow, I caught a grease snail. Its meat immediately released water and retracted into the snail shell very quickly. Add two more. Their meat is spreading out. Bring this snail home and stir fry it with butter and garlic. It's delicious. I really like this grease snail. one more snail. These need to be soaked in a little rice water or add a little chili to the water. Soak for two to three hours to release all the sand and then process. This is a sucking snail used for sucking with a spiral shape like a screw. Oh my god, tonight is the first time I caught razor clams, also known as fingernail clams. Because of its elongated shape like a finger, it lives in this upright position. Its meat and grease snail are very popular. The meat is chewy and delicious when stir-fried with noodles. I caught three fingernail snails. Normally I see a lot of shells, but this is the first time I caught one alive. Our exploration here comes to an end. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.